Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, in this video, you can learn how to find the volume of a cylinder. So we're going to do one problem together, so take notes with me, and then you have a chance to try some problems on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. Alright, so how do we find the volume of a cylinder? Well, actually it's done almost the same way as you'd find the volume of a rectangular prism. What you do is you find the area of the base, and you times it by the height. Alright, so I'm going to actually color in the base. So in this case, the base is the circle. So will you please color that in? So we need to find the area of the circle, okay, and then times it by the height. So the volume, again, is going to be the area of the base, area of base, and then times the height. All right, now to find the area of a, a circle, it's pi times radius squared. So I'm going to use a different color here. So to find the area of the base is going to be pi times the radius squared, and then you multiply it by the height to get the volume, so times the, the height. So now let's take a look at this, this shape. So we know we have a cylinder, and the diameter is 10. Remember, the radius is half that. So this is going to be 3.14 times 5 squared, and then times the height, which is 21. Now, when you do this, remember, you have to follow the order of operations. So we have to do 5 squared first. So 5 squared will give us a 25. So 25 times 3.14 times 21. Again, will give us the volume. So when I do pi times 25 times 21, I get an answer of 1,648 and a half cubic feet. And there's the answer. Alright, so to find the volume of a cylinder, it's pretty simple. Just find the area of the base, which is a circle, okay, and then multiply it by the height. Alright, so what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video and try the your turn uh, problem now, and then when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. Alright, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I do these practice problems. So uh, to save time, I've done all the work out. So the answer for the first problem was the volume should have been 62.8 cubic centimeters. And then for the second problem, the volume should have been 1,424.78 cubic inches. So the big thing to remember about finding the volume of a cylinder, it's always the area of the base times the height. So again, let's color in the base of each of these shapes. So again, the base of this shape is the circle on the top. It looks like an oval from this angle, but it's a circle. And then the base of this one, on this side, is also a circle. So again, it's just the area of the base times the height to get the volume. Alright, how'd you do?